Okay, I'm painting again, but you probably remember the fiasco I had last time. And if you don't remember, then I'll remind you. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to stir up paint using a paint stirrer. There you can see the remnants of what happened last time. Which uh, kind of qualifies me to actually uh, make the video, I suppose. Um, having had a few mishaps accidents. So we're going to be using the drill. Let's see if I can find a good place to... So we've got our drill, take off my existing head, open it up nice and wide for this deal, tighten it on and now we're ready to mix up, insert it all the way in, just off the bottom. is when you take the bit off of the deal, do it by hand. Don't try to hold it and do it. paint nice and mixed up and I've got a second bucket here with a screen and I'll take this one here and empty in much more of this in This one's already been mixed up the other day, so it's not as bad. I just got to kind of re-stir it a little bit that's in here. But I knew it wasn't enough for the job that I've got to do, so I wanted to add more to the mix. So here we go. And again, when we want to take this off, it's just undoing the, the chuck by hand. If you try to use the drill Check. to undo the chuck, it will splatter everywhere. There we go. And then I can lift it out. And it's a done deal. And not have the, the mess that I had last time where it blasted all over me. Which was... It worked out okay. Could have been much worse. Definitely learned the uh, lesson. Which was don't undo the chuck with the drill. Use, do it by hand, undo it by hand. I'm just going to try to move this over to my lid once it stops dripping. There we go. And I've got a carpet scrap down here so to catch anything. So I hope that works out good. And now I'm going to dump some of the paint in the other bucket. We'll use this one to set the paint back onto. Empty some of this in here. Just to make it easier to pour it around and to work with. There we go. Now I can take this one, we're nice and mixed up and ready to go. Alright, well that's uh, stirring up the paint, prepping it a little bit. And the screen's good for getting the contaminants out. So we're ready to go.
A quick search of my YouTube channel, you should be able to find a bunch of material that will be helpful to your maintenance needs and links to tools and parts used in the videos can be found in the descriptions below.